We're back with another brand new Sega Genesis and Mega Drive game. And this one looks absolutely stunning. My name's Mike, and this is the Retro Gamer Boy Show. That's great. What a great way to start a game. Love those sound effects. This splash screen looks amazing. I'm already excited just on the, the artwork of this splash screen. So Cyber Mission, another game from PSCD Games. I think I've got the full PSCD game collection now. There's Black Jewel Reborn that I'm waiting for. Uh, that was a Kickstarter they're doing. And Cyber Mission is another new Kickstarter game that they're bringing to the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive. Already looks awesome. Now the team has sent me a demo, uh, as well as some video and some information on the game, which I'll share with you uh, after we've played through this one level. I think it's a one level demo. Um, but let's get into it. Check out what Cyber Mission is all about. We are ready to go down to hell. Let's do it. Already like the polish. Uh, so A is shoot. B does nothing. And C looks like it changes the droids, top and bottom, to change direction. That's very cool. Already feels like, um, what is it, Forgotten Worlds, is it? Very cool. So this game is two-player as well. Uh, so I'll try to get some two-player footage later on. See what that's like. But oh, looks very cool. Very cool. Soundtrack can be a little bit more upbeat. Feels It feels like it needs a um, one of those synth rock soundtracks that you got on Sega Mega Drive and Genesis. It's good music. I like it. It's a nice soundtrack. But uh, a synth rock, uh, rock tune would go down a treat with this game. Controls really nice. Really smooth. Looks great as well really like it really like the color palette as well really nice color palette i should use the uh the c button a little bit more i fear i've taken too many hits already are we on two life bars left one life bar left. <laughs> uh this might be a short demo <laughs> Classic Retro Gamer Boy gameplay skills on display here. I'm dead. Uh, right. Let's do it properly this time. Right. Back to where I got to last time. It's really... i got to say, gameplay is awesome. Very cool. I love how fast it is. So smooth, so easy to control. The mechanic of switching your um, your kind of like droid attacks uh, from the left to the right uh, is really, really good. It's a really nice mechanic. And like I said before, I love this, um, this color palette. Ooh, look at this. I don't think I'm gonna get past this. Let's, let's, uh, let's give it a try. Uh, there's too many bullets. My old brain can't cope with it. Looks great. Look at that base. Love the pixel art in it. This is really good. Do you know what? I'm getting so impressed now with what people are able to do with their pixel art for the Mega Drive. Really nice. You know, I say this quite a few times with these great looking games that are being done by indie devs, but back in the day, you know, this, this would be one of the big hits. Um, definitely visually, but also gameplay wise. So good. Like, there's definite nostalgia for Forgotten Worlds. 
really nice. Oh, give me a chance. Oh my god. Okay, I've got one health. There's no way I'm surviving this. Or at least we've got to a boss. I've done it! Oh, look at those explosions! Very, very, very cool. Okay, so it looks like the um, the demo starts again once you get to the end. So, the guys did say this was uh, an alpha build. So, you know, that, that means it's an early build. It's got um, some of the features in there. It's not feature complete. Um, there'll be bugs, all that kind of stuff in alpha builds. But I gotta say, for an early alpha build, it looks great. Um, let's put this down and talk a little bit more about this game and its Kickstarter. Cyber Mission is heavily influenced by the NES game Final Mission and is very similar to Forgotten Worlds on the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive. The game is going live on Kickstarter on the 19th of April and the link to back this impressive game can be found in the description below. The team have said that there are a number of stretch goals, including a new character, boss rush mode, new weapon types, and even a whole new level and boss. So the first level is just the introduction to the game. Your goal is to destroy the five reactors in the fortress, and these can be found at the end of five different levels, guarded by five bosses. Once the five reactors are down, it's time for the final level and the guardian of the fortress. The five levels will be a pipeline, sewer, a laboratory, factory and a train. The guys at PSCD Games have told me that the demo you've just seen me play is super early and is missing its two player mode and the little droids or satellites will actually have three attack modes. The first is free mode, where the satellites face in opposite directions to your player. The second is automatic. This sees the satellites in constant motion around your character. And the third is free mode. This allows you to define the satellite's position. The team also have in-game cutscenes in the works, and these contribute to the game's overall presentation and aesthetics, which are excellent. Cyber Mission is a beautiful looking game, as we can see from these early screenshots, and the use of color makes this feel almost Super Nintendo or Neo Geo-like. The gameplay is nice and fluid, and the controls are responsive and feel great. I love that this game sits well with the original shoot 'em ups on the Mega Drive, in that the difficulty curve feels achievable. It's not a bullet hell, and it's more accessible than modern or hardcore arcade shoot 'em ups. So I love PSCD games. They've made some absolutely amazing titles and ported even Nintendo Switch games over to our Sega Mega Drive and Genesis. And I. I think this is the full collection I've got here. There may be one or two I'm missing. Let me know in the comments if there are. I've also got Black Jewel Reborn, which was another Kickstarter they've done. I've got that on order. Hopefully those guys get that done soon because that game looks like a Rastan killer. But needless to say, these guys deliver high quality, great looking, great playing games. This game is great. You can tell from just playing this game that this game is going to be quality. The visuals, combat design, level structure, all scream quality. I'm gonna be backing this game on Kickstarter and I already know that this is gonna be another game that's a favorite in my Mega Drive collection. It's great to be able to bring you these brand new games coming out for the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive. I'm a huge supporter of the independent scene on these consoles and on any kind of retro gaming console or even modern console. That's all we've got time for this week, but I'll catch you on the next one.